shall do their chums, tis I, Captain of the Steves, and this is a cup of tea with Captain Steve. And today, chums, I want to talk about Star Wars Outlaws, and why I'm not going to be picking up and playing it on day one of launch. Now, I am a massive Star Wars fan, and I really do like the Star Wars universe. You're going to see little bits of Star Wars all around the place. I mean, look, there's R2-D2 there. I've got another R2-D2 hiding down the back there behind Goku. Massive fan of the Star Wars universe and franchise. I grew up on it. Love it to pieces. However, if you said to me, Captain Steve, I'd like a, I know, a, a 10-year-old, 12-year-old Captain Steve, out of everybody inside of the Star Wars sort of universe and franchise, who would you most like to be? Yeah? I'm going to be a Jedi, like the equivalent of, say, like Luke Skywalker, something like that. That'd be pretty darn awesome. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't want the daddy issues to go with it. I wouldn't really want Darth Vader as a dad. But I would say second would probably be Darth Vader. Yeah, I know he's a Sith Lord, but he's got some pretty darn awesome skills at the same time. So you're going to go with a Jedi, a lightsaber-wielding person. Is Star Wars Outlaws that? No. The person that you play in Star Wars Outlaws is also fixed in gender. There's no choice of whether you're going to be a male or a female character. Not that it overly matters all that much, to be fair. But you're not even a lightsaber wielder. You're not even a force wielder. So the person that you are, the equivalent of, of who you are, is like... Han Solo, but you're Hannah Solo and you're you're stuck with being Hannah Solo, you know? There's no choice of character. And I don't really like being locked into a character that I don't have a kinship with in any way, shape or form. Now, if I can't play as a force wielder and I am kind of locked into playing a Han Solo S smuggler type person that has to blag their way through things, lie, sneak, steal, stealth, None of those things apply, appeal to me. You know, I wouldn't want to do those things in real life. It's just not in my character. It's just not aligned to who I am. If I wanted to play a game like that, I'd be playing one of the Assassin's Creed games, and I, I'm not massive a fan of those either. It's just not the genre of game. Even though it's based in space, this reminds me of Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. And the main character inside of this reminds me of Renoda Ryder inside of Stranger Things. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. There's nothing wrong with being Renoda Ryder from Stranger Things inside of a Star Wars type setting, but it it just doesn't appeal to me. It really doesn't. This character does not do anything for me at all. And when I get into games, I like to also bring my own persona into it, the old Captain of the Steves, and that's hard to project onto a character like this. So I'm just not feeling the kinship to the character. When it comes to the world building as well, pretty much every single Star Wars game has taken us to Coruscant or taken us to Endor or taken us to all the known systems. If it's an open universe, open game, I would love to see more planets. Planets that we haven't seen a lot of or know a lot about. It would have been... I just feel it's a very big missed opportunity and they're just hitting at the things that they know is going to strike a note with the smaller fans of Star Wars, not so much the bigger fans of Star Wars. I mean, even if you wanted to aim this game at a newer fan base, something that's really made waves over in the Disney sort of area was the Mandalorian. So why not let you play as a Mandalore? You get to choose the type of Mandalore you want to be. You can either be, you know, the path of the way or whatever that the Mando was part of that's very strict. Or you could join bo and her like gang, if you like, that's less strict where you can take your helmet off. You know, you can have appearance modifiers for each of those and character modifications and customizations, depending on the first mission you do. Depends on what sort of you know, seal you get given. This is the way! Chick-bong! There you go. All that sort of shenanigans. They could have done so much more with the Mando sort of background and you create your own character, choose your own armor and you can upgrade that to Beskar and all that sort of shenanigans. If I can't be a force wielder, I would like to be a Mandalorian. I don't really like the idea of being a scandal and a scallywag. It just doesn't really suit me. I'm a little mini goody two shoes or I'd rather be in some sort of military faction rather than some sort of scandal, get away with it, scampy type sort of setup. This game is going to appeal to a lot of people because a lot of people do like that sort of aspect. Not not my not me. 
so that's why i'm not picking it up also i think the price tag is extremely hefty you pay 70 pounds for the base version of the game and if you want to do the jabber mission which they've already made okay they're going to sell you that for an extra 40 quid you got to stump up an extra 40 quid but it's day one content it shouldn't be hidden behind a paywall i think that is like terrible tactics and i don't really want to support a game that is doing that right off the bat so yeah again i don't like that i don't want to pre-order this the only time that i would ever pick up star wars outlaws is if it's in a mahusive sale and you're getting the full base game including that dlc for around about 50 quid i don't think it's worth any more than 50 quid and even though i'm a massive star wars fan and I might regret saying this because after I see people playing it, I know that when I start hearing all the sound effects and seeing the TIE Fighters and the Empire, I'm going to be like, oh, did I make the wrong decision? Maybe that might be the case. But right now, from what I've seen over on IGN, there are some fun elements. There are some pretty nice little nods to the whole nostalgia. But other than that, I don't think this has got a lot going for it. It's definitely not worth 70 quids of my monies anyway. And um, I, I just don't think it's going to be that popular on my channel, mainly because I don't think I'll be that passionate about playing it. So for that reason, it's not coming to my channel. I'm go drink the rest of my tea now. Well, thank you very much for watching, people. Till next time. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Oh, and sound up in the comments. Are you on the same page as me? Or have you already pre-ordered this? Let me know. Bye-bye.